Nice early start this morning, 8.30, headed to Dalston, which is just outside Carlisle. Um, we're meeting a friend near the border, and uh, yeah, fairly overcast. Nothing too special, nothing we haven't seen before. How are you feeling? How's your knee? I'm um, a bit sore. bit sore. But okay. But okay, lovely. Going to extreme measures to try and cure my knee. We both just are in absolute agony this morning, and I have a feeling that this could help because the leggings are restricting it and stuff. Makes sense. There you go. Anyway, please wish us luck. We're in agony here, like real agony. Look, I thought they were all going extinct. Here's one in Scotland. Well, that's cool. We're agonisingly close to the border. But we're stopping for lunch with a friend first, so that's fine. Hey, Scotland. Oh, yeah, it's been fun, but hey! We did it! Well, I mean, we haven't done the whole thing yet, but... I mean, if I'm being totally honest, it's a pathetic sign, isn't it? Hey, but that is a great moment. Yay! But you're out of your favourite country. I know. <sighs> There's that border. See you later, Scotland! You will not be missed in any way. But thanks. Thanks for the ride. We appreciated that. Really did a lot for our legs, so thanks. Thank you. All right, okay. So B, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Seeing as we've just finished cycling the length of Scotland. What was your best and worst memory about cycling the length of Scotland on a Santander higher cycle? Why, did you, why didn't you give me time to prepare? You could have asked me this before. Worst was when my hands were so cold. All right, now tell us your best part, probably in one word. Best was... <laughs> Go on. What is she doing? Okay, thanks for asking me, B. Not that you're interested or anything. The best was being with my wife every day. <laughs> what was your actual best place? My best was being with you all the time. Proper. That is proper. <laughs> okay, best was getting to the hotel in Tintram. Worst was, ah, oh, the weird, the weird B and B we stayed in in Speen Bridge. I was so uncomfortable. So there you go. There's a small interview featuring B and yours truly. Yes. Oh, oh. By the way, completely forgot to say. Um, at about two o'clock today, our friend Theo came with like hot deli sandwiches, you know, like meatball and brie and bacon and ch oh, all this sort of thing. He came with tea and hot chocolate. He came with brownies, crisps, you name it. And it was just such a treat. Oh, yeah. It was so good. It's also all nice seeing other people, otherwise we go mad. And it's so nice having something hot for lunch. Oh, Theo. You're great. Thanks. Thanks very much. Really appreciate uh, that. Yep. I just want people to appreciate what we're dealing with. And then you walk through. And this, this is what I'll be bathing in. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Bye bye, sweet hotel room. You will be missed. So this morning is quite exciting. We're cycling to B's sister Verena and her husband Rob, and we're staying there the night, and then we've got a rest day tomorrow, which is very exciting. We are also um, having the pleasure of having B's mother ride with us, and my parents are also gonna come see us. So it's just a day of family, really. Isn't that exciting, B?
going to more extreme measures. Well, not extreme, but deep heat is now the solution, I think. Feel stronger already. Just down the road. Oh, I was just down the road, Georgian Dragon, which is a great pub, and my parents were en route, and Lady in Pink, Priscilla's mother, Priscilla's mother? Priscilla B's mother, was coming to cycle with us, and we all met in the same place, and it was very jolly. And now, we have Priscilla, who is riding with us. <laughs> so that's Priscilla, and that's B, and that's a car beeping at us. So we're all riding together for about 30 miles. There's B in the far off distance, if you can see her. She's in her natural habitat, isn't that lovely? Couple of things, we got high vis, so that's cool. What's not cool is we're in, it's very hilly and pretty tough cycling, but we're in, there's the M6 over there, I think it's the M6. We're on the most beautiful cycle route. No cars around, no nothing. Like in the middle of a mountain. It's, it's flipping raining. So I can't get the drone up. And I'm really sorry because it's going to be a bit boring now. But it would have been so flipping cool if I could have got the drone up. So I do apologise for that. Don't know if you really will be all that bummed out or not. But I am. I'm really bummed out by it. So. Hey B. Now that we're out of Scotland, how are you finding England? Absolutely hating it. B, how are you finding England now that you're out of Scotland? Are you really happy? You hate it? But I thought you just hated Scotland and England was so much better. I've changed my mind. <laughs> so according to Google, this is a cycle route. This is why you should always look at a map, kids. This is ridiculous. I'm so angry about this. You know, they're trying to give us a shortcut. This is not a shortcut, this is a long cut. You're going that way, yeah, and then turning right in front of the pub. Yes. 